Welcome to Electro Online. On this next problem, if we understand the concept, we can actually run this one pretty quickly and probably solve it in less than three minutes. So let's see why. It deals with the magnetic field of two coplanar current loops. The concentric circular loops, one of radius r and the other of radius 2r, lie in the xy plane with the origin as their common center, as shown in the figure. The smaller loop carries current I1 in the anti-clockwise direction and the larger loop carries current I2 in the clockwise direction with I2 greater than twice I1. The B field is denoted as the magnetic field at a point XY in the XY plane. Which of the following statement or statements are correct? And here are the four statements and there is the drawing, the, the diagram that uh, they so kindly gave to us. All right, how can we solve this one quickly? Well, first of all, there's two things we need to understand. Whenever there's a current loop, there's a magnetic field that circles around the loop. We use a right hand, put our thumb in the direction of the current, and we can see that the, that the B field, the magnetic field, will go around the current like this, which I'll use blue for I1 to denote the direction of the magnetic field. So notice it will be into the board, outside the loop, and out of the board, inside the loop. So you can see that the B field goes like this, out of the loop, in the loop, uh, I mean into the board, and out of the board, around I1. Now for I2, we have to point our finger at them in the opposite direction like this, so we can see that here, we can see the B field goes in and out on the other side. So I'll use red to denote that. So we can see that it goes in on the left side, so here it would be in like this. Of course, it will be still in like this on this side, and it will be like this out, out of the board on this side. And also notice that the B field for I1 will be like this outside the second loop. All right, so that is the first thing. Second thing is that the strength of the magnetic field, B field, is proportional to 1 over the distance R. And of course, I should probably should use a small r for the variable 1 over r. All right, but also notice that i2 is more than twice as big as i1. So let's go ahead and circle that to make sure we understand that as well. So now when we have that information, let's see if we can quickly answer the questions. For A, is the B field perpendicular to the xy plane at any point in the plane? And notice that it'll be perpendicular to the plane as it goes through the board, either on the way in or the way out, and then it will curl around. So I think it's a correct statement to say that in the plane everywhere, due to these two current loops, we'll have B field going in or out of the board, board perpendicular to the board. So A is definitely a correct statement. All right, B. The magnetic field depends on x and y only through the radial distance r. So the, the idea is, if we go out a certain distance r in any direction, will the magnetic field be the same along any circular, well, any circle, I should say, in the board? And the answer is yes. It doesn't matter what the xy is, it's simply the radial distance on either side of the current loops, so it looks like b is also a correct answer. So now for C. C says the magnetic field is non-zero at all points R less than R. So we're assuming that there's no way that they will ever cancel each other out. But notice that I2 is twice as far from the origin as I1 and the strength of the, of the magnetic field or the strength of the current is greater than, is more than twice as much as this. So even though we have twice the distance, the strength of the current is more than twice as much as the current of I1, and so there must be a point in here where the two will cancel out, the distance is just right, not quite at the origin, but a little bit away from the origin, where they will cancel each other out, and there will be a zero magnetic field. So therefore, there are some places where you expect a zero magnetic field at some distance away from the origin, and so therefore that is an incorrect statement. And finally, for the last statement, the magnetic field points normally outward from the xy plane for all the points between the two loops. Now, points outward, but notice that 
the magnetic field for the inner loop from the inner loop is pointing into the board and the magnetic field for the outer loop is pointing in the board so between the two loops it's always into the board and so here it says it points normally outward from the xy plane so you know that this is also an incorrect statement and so hopefully you can go through this logic in less than three minutes and save some precious seconds for the next problem but only a and b are the correct answers in this particular problem and that is how it's done. How long did I take? <laughs> More than three minutes. <laughs>